And back to live action here from Buffalo Wild Wings here in Coral Springs, 441 and Wiles Road is the location. We shout out to them for letting us come out. Our first midweek presser featuring two top teams here in Coral Springs, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, Coral Glades High School. You saw Coral Glades, we get them tomorrow night. Unfortunately, we don't get to see Douglas this, well, we did get to see you this week. We got a chance to see you on Monday against Piper, a district matchup. Unfortunately, came up short, but ultimately we've been following Douglas throughout the season. If you've been tuned in with us at hsbnsports.com, you know who these guys are. So we got Robert, Rodriguez, Robbie? Robbie, hey, yes, Robbie. sir. We'll, we'll keep it a Robbie. Robbie, Daquan, Bailey Brown. If you've seen him, this guy, number 10, he's been all over the place. He says wide receiver, but I say athlete because he's back there catching punts, he's doing his thing. And then Robert Rodriguez, a uh, standout athlete that I notice. I mean, I notice all you guys, I watch you you know, every other week, but standout athlete, no doubt, in the Coral Springs High School football game, which they came out on top 42-7. Now, I kept asking these guys, you know, what happened, especially the coaching staff. I said, you know, where'd the seven points come from? You know, I thought it was gonna be a game, but some guys were saying it was a fluke, but I didn't say that. You, you just heard it from me. Yeah. So, but let's talk about it. Robert, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, you know, primary position, outside linebacker. Um, but, you know, ultimately, at the high school level, I believe all you guys can really play anywhere. You know, it just takes a unique individual to, to play in the quarterback position. Yeah. So, uh, ultimately, let's go back to that. That was the last time that, uh, that wasn't the last time you guys won, was it? No, we won last year. Last year. You guys play, in, so Coral Springs High, that's the Pig Bowl. That's mm -hmm. the annual Pig Bowl. Um, you know, that was just a blowout game for you guys. What, what was that? You know, it's just a big game in Coral Springs, Robert. I'll start with you. Ultimately, what was that? Uh, what were some of the things that you expected that week? What were some of the things that you wanted to work on? Just the excitement of coming into the Pig Bowl. Uh, personally, me, um, more of my tackling and my blitzing, actually. And all throughout practices, we worked every day. A good good amount of time and I came out and executed as as I planned. Now, Daquan, um, same question to you. Just Swamp Bowl. Have you was that your first Swamp Bowl or have you played in a no, couple of those? I played last year. You played in a couple of them. So ultimately you know the excitement, you know the expectations. What was some of uh, the stuff that you guys experienced that week? Um, you know, just getting just getting ready for that week. Um, something that I experienced was uh, my coaches always tell me to be one on ones. Uh, with my receiver core, we uh, practice all week catching the ball, uh, practicing stall blocking, all type of stuff. Uh, thanks to my coach Orville Reynolds. Um, you know, it was a good game. We we came on top. It was great. You know, we just went out there and we put on the show. And that's obviously a district matchup. And we've got to see, I mean, you guys really, I mean, you get the short end of the stick this week. You know, uh, for those of you that aren't in Florida or the East Coast overall, we experienced the bad weather. Uh, so we had to postpone some games. And obviously that last game, Piper, it's a district matchup. So you guys decide to play it on Monday, whoever scheduled that. But it's tough. You went out Monday, you played. Now you got Friday, a short week. Robert, how do you prepare mentally for just not playing on Friday. How'd you prepare for that Monday game for Piper? Um, well, due to the weather, we didn't have practice at all, unfortunately. So uh, Daquan and I, a couple of the captains, got together at a local park of ours. We all went, had a big talk. We practiced, went over a lot of stuff. And we just like to stay confident at all times, no matter what the situation is. Yeah. And we go out and perform. Yeah, now ultimately, Piper, it was a big game last year. You know, Piper just uh, really showing their stuff. Deerfield Beach, two big time teams in your district. Yeah. Um, you know, those are teams that, you know, you guys come to those games with certain expectations. What were some of the things that you were able to take away from that Piper football game? Um, just never to give up. Like, no matter what the score is, no matter what the time is, as long as there's still time on the clock, you could still, anything could happen actually. And one thing I've learned from playing any sport is just to have faith and believe in yourself. Daquan, same question to you. We're going back to this Piper game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, a lot of penalties. Yeah. A lot of mistakes. Wow. You know, uh, you, could, you could sit here and we could beat ourselves up for, you know, the, the, the mistakes that we make, mm -hmm. you know, on, in our hands. Um, but ultimately, what are some of the things that you were able to take away from that week or that game, I should say? Um, mentally preparing, watching film on the corners, 
the defense in general, watching watching film on the team, you know, preparing, like we said, uh, we went to a local park, you know, some of the captains at, uh, of ours, and uh, we worked, we watched film, we did we did a little bit of work outside of school, uh, made our coaches very proud. It's, it, it showed them that we were very confident, win or lose, you know, that we wanted to come out there and just perform and be a family as whole. Now, Daquan, uh, let's talk about what were some of the things Coach May and your coaching staff were talking about in terms of having a short week, you know, Monday to Friday, you know, what was he trying to feed you guys mentally to just keep you guys on track and, and to stay focused? Um, a lot of it was, like, really to watch film. Like, it was a mental week. We didn't, due to, like, the weather, we couldn't practice. So, I mean, we had, like, captains, like, a lot of people on the team that make impact plays had to watch film. Film was a really, really big, 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 big thing for us this week. Now, Deerfield, you know, they're always, there's always a top team mm -hmm. in the district. I mean, you guys go back and forth every year. Piper, you know, those, those are obviously the two top teams in the district. How do you, how do you, what are your expectations for this week? Honestly, I, I hope we come out and we ball. We, we can't let it, we can't come out there first half and just sit down and then second half, come, we, have to, we gotta throw the first punch to be honest with you. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm going to come out and I'm going to do my job. My team's going to do their job. And hopefully we come out on top. Now, Robert, same to you. You know, how do you prepare, uh, you know, on the defense side of the ball? Um, you know, defense wins championships. And I'm a firm believer in that. And there's probably hundreds of thousands of people that believe in that mentality. How do you prepare for this game as an individual? Um, personally, I just have to watch a lot of film. Make sure I know my reads and uh, all my checks, and just execute what what my coaches are coaching me and what I'm what the plan is. Now, overall, we're going to wrap this stuff up. Um, just from our perspective, the outsider perspective, you know, from your school, outside of what's happening internally within the football program, have we seen the real identity yet? Have we really seen what Douglas football is about, Robert? Um, no. No, uh, there's offense, defense, and then special teams. And some games we come out, ball on offense, and defense would kind of lay back, and then vice versa. Defense would ball, offense would not do as well as expected. And then sometimes special teams would ball. But once once we get that all, all them together and ball in that one game, that's, that's going to be it. That's going to be the game. Now, what would you say? Just for fun, what, what's what's your guys' swagger? What's your identity as a football team? Yeah, Eagle Pride. Eagle Pride. Eagle Pride. Now, for someone that has no idea what the heck that means, what uh, you know, what what are some, I you know, when I get ready to watch your guys' games, you guys got some you know serious bass going on in the football field. You got some stereos blasting and stuff. What are some of the things that Douglas does differently? You think than other football teams in terms of that swagger mentality of getting ready? Differently, I think that uh, when we're all together on the field, it's just a whole different vibe. We all like, we all have each other's backs. It's a brotherhood. I love it. I mean, I moved here last year. I played here last year also. And since I moved here, all I've seen is that when we're all together, we stick together. We never like leave each, never abandon each other. It's just a big family. Got you. Well, once again, Eagle Pride here. Two high-powered teams here in Coral Springs, Florida. HSBNSports.com is the website you're watching it right now with us on our first midweek presser we got two standout athletes that are featured not in the broadcast tomorrow night unfortunately but i'm sure you can find it some way somehow live stream somewhere or, or scores and updates we got robert rodriguez daquan bailey brown number 10 number 20 if you're wondering what positions they play we got wide receiver and outside linebacker two impact players we we're glad you guys joined us number one thank you for coming out thank, thank you for having us absolutely once again here from buffalo wild wings ryan stout bringing you the live action here on this midweek presser we'll be right back <laughs>